There's this fellow named Stuart. Stuart has a problem. He's an overeater and likes junk food. He calls on a man named Ray Moody for help. Ray owns his own business that kidnaps people at their own request. It's what he calls simulated kidnappings. So for eight hours, Stuart is tied up in Ray's basement and forced to eat greasy hamburgers. When the time is up, Stuart thanks Ray, pays him his money, and goes home. Yes, it's an odd business, and Ray doesn't make a lot of money doing it. In fact, he has to borrow money to keep his business afloat. Then one day, he gets a call from a woman who wants to pay him a lot of money as long as he agrees to one special request. Today on The Stream Hunter, I talk about the 2017 film, Take Me. Well, hello there. Old Man Kelly here. Jeff to my friends, and you can call me Jeff. Welcome to another edition of The Stream Hunter. That's where I search out streaming services looking for little-known films, rare gems if you please, and talk about them for a while. So Take Me, a film written by Mike Mikowski and directed by Pat Healy. It's an American screwball comedy film according to Wikipedia, and who am I to argue with Wikipedia? We start the film with Ray Moody going to the bank looking for a business loan. This is cut with scenes of Ray and Stuart in Ray's basement. Of course, Ray doesn't get the loan. Soon we learn that he's got a sister, Natalie, and their relationship is a bit strained. Natalie is married and has a couple of kids, and Ray is borrowing money from her husband in secret to keep his kidnapping business alive. Suddenly, one day, he gets a call from a mysterious woman who's willing to pay him $5,000 to kidnap her on one condition, that he hits her. Now, he has a policy against violence, but for $5,000, he might make an exception. And you know, things might just go wrong if he takes the job, but he needs the money. The film stars Taylor Schilling as Anna St. Blair, the kidnapped woman. You might remember her as Piper Chapman from Orange is the New Black. She's wonderful in this film. Pat Healy, who's also the director, plays Ray Moody. He's done a crapload of work in both TV and films, mostly in smallish parts. Stewart is played by Jim O'Hare, who's Jerry from Parks and Recreation, and Alicia Delmore plays Natalie. But now how about the good and the bad? You know, in the past I've used critics' reviews, but I've decided to start using reviews by actual viewers of the film. On Rotten Tomatoes, Edward D. gave it a half star out of five and wrote, I hate comedies that aren't funny, but think that painful situations and uncomfortable scenes are somehow enjoyable or remotely pass for comedy. So I guess Ed didn't like the film, but Alicia R. gave it five out of five stars, and she wrote, The movie is so much fun, the acting was amazing, and the plot was so unique. The audience loved it. It was so funny and clever. So I'm sort of in between these two. I mean, yeah, I liked it, but it was a bit predictable, and there's a scene in the middle that drags a bit when Ray takes Anna to his vacation home. And the twist you can see coming a mile away. I was hoping it wouldn't go where it was, that it would surprise me, but it went exactly where I thought it was going to go. Now this is sort of a first time effort from both writer and director. Like I said, it was directed by Pat Healy. His only other feature he directed was something called Dream From Leaving in 2008. I couldn't find anything about it, but he's listed as one of seven directors, so I think it's sort of a music video type thing. That makes Take Me his only feature, and it's well directed. I'd like to see Healy do some more. Mike Mikowski has three films to a screenwriting credit, this being his first feature. Recently, he wrote something called Bad Education, which is getting a lot of attention. So, Take Me wasn't a great film, but I thought it was a good film. I mean, I enjoyed watching it. The fact I watched the whole thing with very little boredom says something. I thought the first 45 minutes were really good, and then it slows down a bit. I thought it could have used a little more humor, and the second half could have, could have been a little more interesting. But it's only 83 minutes, which is about the right length for a film like this. The film is brought to us by Duplass Brothers Productions, the team of Mark and Jay Duplass. They've been around since 1996 and have produced, directed, and starred in a bunch of work. Now, Take Me is available on Netflix if you'd like to watch it. Like I said, I enjoyed it, though it's not a, a great film. 
Now, if you've got a film you think I should see, something that's, I don't know, not well known, let me know in the show notes below. I'd appreciate it. And before you leave, if you could do the usual garbage, you know, like, subscribe, and comment, and all that great stuff, I'd be forever grateful. I'm Old Man Kelly, and I appreciate you watching, and I'll be back with another film review sometime soon. We'll see. Take care. Bye. It's brought to us by Duplass Brothers Productions, the team of Mark and Jay Duplass. They've been around since 1996 and have produced, directed, and starred in a bunch of stuff. Take Me is available on Netflix if you want to watch it. Um, 